Out from 88 Films is Grizzly, a movie I recently checked out, had never heard of before. It came out in 1976 and pretty much somebody has just ripped off the kind of plotline from Jaws. I'm fine with that. I'm a huge Jaws fan. I like the sort of monster movies where they are pretty much dominating their environment and us humans are just trespassers probably getting a little bit more severe treatment than we should have. Grizzly takes part in this large wildlife sanctuary, this large country city area of woodland where people are going to check the woods, to camp, to just general things. There is someone that patrols these woods and his name is Kelly and he kind of discovers fairly early on, as we do because they don't try and hide it, that there is a grizzly bear there. An 18 foot, 2,000 pounds grizzly bear that is on a rampage and has a taste for human blood. It's the basic plot of grizzly and to be fair, that's all you really need. There are some other little subplots and facets that go along with this, but which is a nice addition to the movie, but it's not necessary. But it's nice to know that they've put a little bit of effort into it rather than just completely ripping off Joyce. You have three male leads here who all act similarly to characters in the aforementioned Joyce. But one of the things that caught me off guard straight away with Grizzly was its playful nature at the start. It felt very much like a slasher movie. You had to say, a view of the bear as it trundled through the woods, spying on people, getting ready to stalk them uh, and kill them, um, even to the point where it attacks felt very much Jason Voorhees like. And even at the start of the movie, I wasn't 100% sure that it was an actual bear. I thought it was maybe some crazed hunter killing these people, pretending to be a bear, making it look like it was a bear because of the way the movie was shot. You had that sort of point of view shot of, of stalking the prey and then when they would get to the animal attacks, all you would see is like, like a bear claw just going across the screen and then somebody's arm just coming flying off. And I just felt, you know what, I'm not sure if this is an actual bear or if this is a slasher movie dressed up like a, a sort of monster movie. Spoiler alert, I suppose if you're as crazy thinking as I am, it's not it as an actual bear and the movie becomes great fun. There are a couple of problems I had with the movie. One that jumps out at you, they, they have a grizzly bear which is brown but every now and again when you see its feet stomping about it changes to a black bear and it, it isn't even close, it jumps out a mile. If you're not paying attention you may get away with it but nowadays I'm going to spot that kind of thing. Whole lot of fun, whole lot of blood, guts, gore, uh, you know, that kind of crazy stuff that just doesn't make sense. You know, like a bear's killed somebody and then put them in the rafters of a building just for them to fall out and give somebody a scare. But then that's not just with movies like this. Joyce did it as well. You know, the shark bit the head off somebody and spat it into a boat, apparently, for it to fall out. It, it just, it's one of these things that goes with these movies and it fits perfectly. It doesn't outstay its welcome. It doesn't get boring. It doesn't... Uh, it doesn't do anything other than entertain and it does it remarkably well. We have some good characters, um, we have a, a budding relationship that never overshadows the rest of the movie, it never takes the limelight away from what has actually happened. You have some good tense action set pieces, there's a part where a bear attacks um, a large group of people which I, I didn't expect to happen but it happened. And yeah, all, all in all this movie is definitely steeped in the 70s steeped in that kind of vibe, feels as if it's a kind of mix with a slasher, has some good practical gore, a nice tale, a good finale and, and was something that I I really enjoyed a lot more than I thought I was going to when I put it on but it, the movie captured my imagination almost instantly. This is a movie that I can recommend, it, 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 it's so much fun. If you like Jaws, if you like something that kind of plays on the tropes of that without poking fun at it, this is the movie for you. It's a straight rip off. And a fun fact for this, Grizzly was one of the biggest hits of the year it came out, independent wise it was a, an independent movie and it held the record for two years until another small slasher movie came across called Halloween which became the most profitable um, independent movie for the longest time. I'd love to know your thoughts on Grizzly. If you've seen it before, let me know in the comment box below and I'll see you next time on Man vs. Film.